Dirk, good to see you again. Welcome. Well, thanks, Sarah. Good to be here. So you're, you're seeing strong growth across the portfolio, across geographies, and doubling your sales forecast for the year. What is driving that? Well, we see um, a, a consumer that is still very resilient as it relates to biscuits and chocolate uh, around the world. Um, in developed markets, uh, despite all the talk about recession and inflation, our categories are holding up quite nicely, and we see 8% growth, and then emerging markets particularly strong uh, at 22% uh, growth uh, this quarter. So while the consumer is clearly concerned, it is not yet showing that in its buying behavior and its consumption behavior. And so uh, combine that with uh, investment in our brands and, and good innovation, uh, that is really uh, causing uh, this uh, good trend that we're seeing at the moment. But in the U.S., it, it does look like pricing was the story in terms of the revenue growth. Volumes were a little bit lower. So are you starting to see consumers push back on those higher prices? Um, in, in the U.S., yes. That's one of the markets where volumes are uh, flattish, I would call it. We, we do have at the moment still a squeeze on our supply chain. So those volumes would, be, would have been slightly better if our supply chain was working uh, as it normally does, but uh, still labor uh, uh, situation, we still have uh, transportation shortages and so on. So we can't service our clients in the way we want. But there is a little bit of a reaction, I would say, not, not in a major uh, degree. Uh, but yes, you can see uh, uh, the, the lower uh, uh, social class consumers probably pulling back a little bit from consumption in the U.S. In a typical recession, Dirk, what we would see consumers pull back from from the brands like yours and go into private label is that is there evidence of that happening is that something you're bracing for no no i, I think you can typically see that as you uh, said um, for instance if you take our top 10 markets around the world we see private label gaining share in two of those top 10 markets and so nothing to really talk about now if you think about the two categories that are very important for us chocolate private label is is very small Biscuits, there is some private label, depends on where you are in the world, um, but uh, not playing a major role at the moment. And then emerging, emerging markets has barely any private label. So we do not see that. What we do see uh, is that in certain markets, consumers are looking for good prices on their favorite brands like Oreo or Milka, and they are uh, switching stores. That can happen. But we do not see the private label uh, go up at the moment. What about on the pricing side and, and on commodities? You mentioned on the call that the commodity inflation was starting to ease, but that you don't expect inflation to come down anytime soon. What, what do you mean? So um, a number of factors here. First of all, the commodities are not the only factor of inflation. There is going to be labor and wage inflation. There's still uh, transportation inflation that is going on. Um, uh, another factor for us as a company is that we hedge, and so we are protected for this year. We've locked in our prices for commodities. For next year, the prices where we are hedged today are higher. They're coming down, but they still are going to be higher than where we are today. So that's the second factor that I would mention here. So that's what makes us say inflation next year for us will still be higher. And what about the dollar? That strong dollar really hurts a company like yours that gets, what, 80 percent of your revenues overseas? Is it, is it getting is it going to get worse? It's, uh, it's 75 uh, percent overseas. Um, well, I hope it doesn't get worse. The euro is now at parity against the dollar. I, I hope it will stay there. Um, and uh, we, we do believe that the rest of the year we will probably be in this situation but for next year we hope that things will ease and that uh, you will see the opposite effect for us of course where that 75% of overseas really starts to help the results of the company